Okay, so let's talk about using some masks. So your layer panel, your layer panels, you've got all the little bits and pieces put together. Okay. That's the first thing you want to do. And as soon as that's done, then you can make a blank layer above it to start doing some of your retouching. I would put all your little pieces in a group, right? You can do that by selecting one, holding down the shift, selecting the top one, and then hitting Command G, or going down to the bottom right here. And let's start that. And then what we did is we hit Shift Command Option E to make a stamp visible. Because you could correct all of this by hand, I wouldn't even retouch, but we're gonna try something else. We're gonna go to the stamp visible layer, grab the marquee, and get a nice big clean piece. So ideally, all of this little retouching would have been done, but we're gonna use it anyway. That's pretty easy. So off of the stamp visible, we hit Command J to jump that little piece that we copied onto a new layer. And I'm gonna call this house bit. There. All right, so with house bit, we need the move tool and we're gonna move it over. Now, you just want the wood to line up, so don't worry about anything that's covering her right now. Also, this is a pretty big piece of house, so we're gonna uh, mask out a lot of this. Before we do that, let's go to edit transform and get skew. I'm gonna also go to view and turn off snap, which will give me a little bit more control. So we want to make sure that that lines up. <coughs> I'm not gonna worry too much about it now, because again, we will be masking. So I'm gonna return to apply. And then on the house bit layer, I'm going to add a layer mask. And with the brush tool, foreground and background, black and white, I'm going to start editing the mask. So with black in the front, we can hide what we don't want. All right, so there's kind of backup. Let's see. Hit X to put white in the front and that will allow you to bring back some of the mask. But that's really what we want to cover there. Zoom in a little bit and use the uh, space bar to move around. You see here where you're having a little bit of opacity. You want to make sure you zoom in and get that. Hit X. And there we go. You can make your brush size bigger with your brackets. But what we want to do is just kind of line it up. So there is some discoloration, but we're not too worried about that now. And I'm going to, again, click on the first thumbnail here, the pixel thumbnail, not the layer mask thumbnail, and hit Command T for a free transform, and then hit Command. Right click and then go to Skew. And I just want to make sure that this is lined up pretty well through here. And it looks okay. So I'm going to hit return. Cool. Now we need to make that the same color. These will eventually be black and white, but even if you go to adjustments and hit black and white, you can see that there's um, some luminance differences. So we want to get rid of that. So let's go to the curves and grab the scrubby hand or the targeted adjustment tool. And we're going to Bring it down a little. As you can see, well, this is a global adjustment, so we need to make it local by hovering between these two layers and holding down the option to create a clipping mask. And then we can grab the scrubby hand again and go in. Oops. You think it's crazy? Just go to default, get that scrubby hand. Come on now, scrubby hand. Let's 
It's okay. All right. Why won't this? Where's my little scrubby hand? Why is it being kind of a jerk? Okay, there it is. So I'm bringing that down. You can see it's blended in pretty well here, not as well there. So what I can do is grab the brush tool again and see if I even need all of that, which I don't. So I'm just editing the mask. And so I've got the curves. Right, you can also anytime go here, select this with the scrubby hand to adjust that. And then you've got your piece of house that you use to cover this up. And stamp visible, retouching, and all of your pieces.